Neil Collier likes to keep fit and is a keen runner. So keen, in fact, that on a recent trip to visit family in Fife in Scotland, he went for a run and had quite a surprise when he was attacked by a buzzard. It was like being punched in the back of the head, if you can imagine what that is, or having a rock thrown at you. And um, yeah, it just took me by complete shock. I had pain down my shoulders, down the back of my neck. But, uh, yeah, pretty shocked. And straight after that, ran down the road, felt stinging on the top of my head as well, and uh, went to wipe my head, and there was blood all over my arm. So uh, ran a bit faster. Even 20, 30 years ago, you'd have no chance really of seeing a buzzard here in Bedfordshire. And now they're, they're so widespread, they're one of Britain's most common birds of prey. In fact, they are our commonest bird of prey now. There are 40,000 breeding pairs in the UK, so we hope to spot some in this RSPB reserve, although they prefer a warm day when they can float with relative ease on thermals rising up from the ground. For conservationists, reports of run-ins with buzzards are a double-edged sword. And this is really the key time of year when young buzzards are leaving the nest and starting to fledge. And what does sometimes happen is female buzzards can get very protective, as any good mother would, uh, and are protecting their territory and their young just coming out the nest. And if a jogger or someone gets unintentionally a bit close, they, they can really be quite aggressive in, in defending their young. And in an odd way, it's a sort of a, a success story. The fact that we even have buzzards around is a massive success. Even 20, 30 years ago, buzzards were really quite a rare localised bird. And the fact that they're now back across the country, wherever you are, you've got a pretty good chance of seeing a buzzard. And that is a fantastic success, one should we, we should be uh, really proud of. Not all birds of prey are doing so well, though. There's great concern over the hen harrier, which lives in moorland areas and comes into conflict with the grouse shooting industry. But the common buzzard continues to thrive, thanks to human conservation and, of course, to the highly developed protective instincts of the birds themselves. John Maguire, BBC News, Bedfordshire.